Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna do a quick answer to a question which has plagued the net, and which is probably one of the most frequently asked skincare questions of all time. And that is, can you combine safely in the single skincare routine, vitamin C, and niacinamide. Now, we love vitamin C on this channel. It is fantastic as a brightening agent to the skin, it brings back that luminosity, it can help increase cellular turnover, and it is a powerful, powerful antioxidant. So it's just like a holy grail skincare ingredient. Niacinamide is fantastic if you have oily or acneic skin because it'll help regulate the level of oil production in the skin, but it's also great for people with sensitive skin because it'll give a light brightening, but also help to calm any redness and sensitivity in the skin. Both of these products are holy grail and amazing. So naturally, we want them all in our lives and in our skincare routines. But about five years ago, The Ordinary started putting on their website um, a disclaimer under their vitamin C section saying, do not use alongside niacinamide in the same routine. They've got the net talking and now everybody is terrified to combine these two products together. And so we're potentially losing out on the benefits of one or other of the products. So we're gonna get into it today. We're gonna to talk about the claims, the counterclaims, the myths, and ultimately what the science behind them is and what the answer to this question is. So there appears to be two reasons for concern of combining these two products together. The first one is that they actually work against each other and denature one another when they're combined. So you lose the benefits of one or the other of the products. You get less luminosity, protection from antioxidants from the vitamin C, and you get less of that oil regulation and that calming effect from niacin. That tends to be concern number one. The second seems to be concerning the niacinamide itself, and that when it's exposed to vitamin C, it can cause it to hydrolyze and turn into nicotonic acid or niacin, which is a known irritant when it's put on the skin. And so it can lead to increased redness, irritation, and inflammation in the skin, the exact opposite of what we're using it to achieve. These seem to be the two concerns that are out there. And like I say it was all driven by the ordinaries or triggered by the ordinaries inclusion of this on their website. Now let's break down some of the science. Yes under certain conditions niacinamide can turn into nicotonic acid hydrolyzed to form nicotonic acid niacin which is a known irritant. All of that is true. However for these conditions to be met studies have shown that it has to be under intense heat over a prolonged period of time. Heat that's far in excess of anything that you're gonna see by applying it to the natural body heat of the skin or in your homes and the temperature around us. Also, it needs to be done over a period of time, we're talking weeks as opposed to the hours that you'll be having the product on the skin for. So the idea that this is over, you know, that by combining the two instantly, you're gonna create this nicotonic acid, which is gonna to lead to inflammation and flare up in redness on the skin and the flushing that we associate with niacin when it's applied to the skin, just isn't substantiated by any of the science. Also, for a lot of these reactions to happen, they need to happen at a really low pH. A lot of people say the acidity which vitamin C brings to a skincare routine can trigger that. Now, we're talking about um, acidities which are low to the one to two on the pH scale. None of your skincare ingredients should have a pH as acidic as one or two on the pH scale. These are, you know, these are acids which should be reserved for use in the dermatologist's office or under a professional guidance. So none of your skincare products that you get off the shelf should have a pH low enough to trigger any of these reactions. So absolutely it's fine to have these products combined together in a single skincare routine. When it comes to the two of them working against each other and almost causing them to denatured, this is formed back on a 40 year old study which showed that this there was the potential for this to happen. However, that fails to take into account that so much technology and formulation science has come on in those past 40 years. And now the products that we're using are far more stable than they used to be. Niacinamide naturally is one of the most stable um, ingredients out there. It's really difficult to get it to transform into something different. And vitamin C, whilst it is inherently unstable, there are a lot of stabilized forms of vitamin C which you can use in your skincare routine. So. Ultimately, we can conclude there is no scientific basis for not combining your vitamin C and your niacinamide in one skincare routine. You can use both of these products in the morning and you can use them safely together. If you are worried about using a super strength vitamin C that can be quite unstable, such as an l acid, and you would rather tone it back and maybe look for a stable form, I'd recommend that you check out that video I linked to earlier where you can get some recommendations for some really great stabilized 
vitamin C's, which just should put your mind at rest and will still give you some amazing, amazing results. I would also say, if you're concerned again, why not just buffer the two of these products um, in your skincare routine by including a product between them, such as a hyaluronic acid if you use a hyaluronic acid serum. Just buffer them out by including a step in between them. And then again, just for that peace of mind, but I can assure you it's absolutely safe to use the two of these products together in a single skincare routine. I have been for years and the only people I would say should apply any degree of additional caution would be if you have super sensitive and reactive skin, in which case you might want to look at some other alternatives. But for the vast majority of us, we can go about our lives, we can enjoy our vitamin C's and our niacinamides together and enjoy the benefits of both. I have left some links to my favourite vitamin C's down below and some favourite niacinamide serums. So if you are kind of shopping for either of them, you might want to check those links below and look at some of the ones which I would personally recommend. But guys, I hope you found this video useful. Let me know if there's any other skincare questions that you want me to sit down and tackle and I happily will. But wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.